we often hear about stories of females going to beauty supply stores and stealing from these businesses. Well, now you have one of these beauty bandits who filed a lawsuit against the police department for how officers responded to her shoplifting. I know it's a long story, but I got you. Before we get into it, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, click the notification bell for all updates, and if you're new, include new subscriber in your comment below and I'm gonna try my best to respond to all of you. Special thank you to Robert for sending this story in. I appreciate you, Robert, for everything that you do. And if you happen to be from Brentwood, California, Oakland, San Francisco, the Bay Area, let me know below. So to understand what's going on right now at 22, we're gonna have to go back to February 10th, 2020. At 11.45 a.m. that morning, Brentwood officers were dispatched to Ulta Beauty at the Brentwood Shopping Center, where three women had stolen $10,000 worth of merchandise. They took a bunch of beauty supply products and designer perfumes like YSL, Versace, and Chanel. Right now, you're looking at a picture of that merchandise released by Brentwood PD when they confiscated the product. One of the shoplifters identified as Talmika Bates. At that time, she was 24 years old. She was with another 24-year-old woman as well as a 22-year-old woman. After snatching $10,000 worth of products, the three women ran out of the store, they jumped into the car, police chased them down and crashed a patrol car into their getaway car. All the suspects jumped out of the car and tried to run away. That's when police released their canine, Marco the German Shepherd. This moment was recorded by officers' body-worn cameras. In the footage, Talmika Bates, then 24 years old, can be seen hiding in the field in some bushes. And then she started screaming when the canine was unleashed and caught her. Marco the German Shepherd went after her, biting her head. Tamika was so out of it. That's because he tore the hair off her head, ripped off her scalp. All the skin in the front of her head was gone. Only thing you could see is red parts of her skull. In the video, you can hear a shocked Tamika saying, my whole brain is bleeding. Tamika had to go to the hospital where doctors had to stitch her head back together. At some point she went to court, entered a guilty plea, and was sentenced to 120 days in jail, one year probation. Now that she's done her time and she's off probation, she's hired two lawyers to help her go after the Brentwood PD. The lawsuit cites Officer Ryan Resentes as responsible. Take a listen. Oh my God. The police body camera video is so graphic at times, we can't fully show it. On February 10th, 2020, Talmika Bates admits she shoplifted from a Brentwood Ulta Beauty. According to the police report obtained by the ABC7 News I team, Bates and two others stole approximately $10,000 worth of perfume. I was just, you know, a regular person like everybody else trying to make a way and it escalated. Bates was in a getaway car with the other suspects that rammed a police cruiser, according to the police report, and seen here in this dash cam video. The suspects later ditched the car. Police apprehended one suspect hiding in a garbage can, according to the police report. She called the others who explained where they were hiding. Girl, in a bush, and this boy keep looking at us and playing over here. As Bates says she hid in these bushes, Brentwood Police Department canine Marco and his handler, Officer Ryan Resentes, found her. God, I just feel something attacking me, like paws on my back. Then I start feeling rips from the scalp here, 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 and teeth grinding. I thought I was gonna die, like, I really did. Terrified, Bates called her mother. My man, my old brain is bleeding, my man. In a statement, the Brentwood Police Officers Association says police dogs are often used to search these types of areas because a potentially armed suspect can conceal themselves in overgrown vegetation. According to the police report, Officer Resentes writes, quote, when Marco locates the source of human odor and if he comes into contact with the subject, he is trained to bite the first portion of the body he contacts with or without a command. Marco will hold that suspect until I release him. No warning. No, come out with your hands up. That would have been better for me. Take me to jail. Officer Resenta says the search command was the only command given. He writes in the police report a police canine warning was not given because he had no indication there were any suspects in the area. He writes when he heard someone shout something similar to get the dog off, 
He began calling for Bates to come towards him and to bring him the dog. Without compliance, he writes he made his way towards her and took Marco off the bite. The report states that Marco was biting Bates for approximately 60 seconds. All over perfume and cosmetics. Her attorney, Adante Pointer, has filed a lawsuit on her behalf against Ryan Resentes in his capacity as a police officer for the city of Brentwood. We want to bring attention to this officer and this out of control German Shepherd. Neither one are fit to serve the community that is sworn to protect. I didn't know the dog was going to bite me though. Well, you shouldn't run from the police. In an emailed statement, the city of Brentwood tells ABC 7 News in part, quote, this incident was reviewed by the Brentwood Police Department Use of Force Committee, which found the use of force to be within policy and law under the circumstances which involved a high-speed chase and a collision with a Brentwood police vehicle. Surgeons were able to reattach Bates' scalp, but she says she still has nightmares, memory loss, and depression. I want the dog to be laid down. I want him to be fired. I just, I want justice. The city of Brentwood says the Brentwood Police Department is not currently deploying a canine program since April 2021. It did not say why. For the IT, Melanie Woodrow, ABC 7 News. Very crazy situation. When Talmika was in the bushes, her brain was about to fall out when the German Shepherd got a hold of her. Meanwhile, you have Officer Ryan over there who was worried about the other officer shooting Marco the German Shepherd, in which that officer reassured him that he was not going to do anything to Marco the German Shepherd. Tamika's attorney argues that even after the German Shepherd got a hold to her, the officers allowed him to continue to go after her head. And according to the attorney officer, Ryan, he covered up details of this incident. You know, this one is really crazy. Tamika, she's 26 years old now. She's still having nightmares. She's suffering from severe depression. Her hair won't grow back and it's just a lot of stuff going on. I think it's safe to say that Talmika's shoplifting days are over. I don't really see her getting into any more trouble again. I really believe that she's learned not to ever do anything like this again. And for the wise young women out there watching, bad things can happen to you while you're out there trying to hit a lick. I also believe the city of Brentwood, they're going to end up settling with her, probably in the high six figures to the million dollar range. I also want to note that this is not the first time that Marco the German Shepherd had an incident like this. There's another woman in the area who had to have surgery too after Marco bit her head. The officer side of the story is that the canine went after her on his own and he told the dog to heal twice but the dog didn't listen. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. Is the police department liable for putting their dog on Tamika? Did they use excessive force? Is there another way they could have apprehended her? If you want to see the video of this, the link will be below in the description. Support the channel, the links to Cash App and PayPal are also below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share.